Rimbaud was a genius who said everything he had to say before the age of 20. Then he abandoned poetry and the literary life of Paris to embark upon an African adventure. He was disillusioned with the world and with himself, with the vulgarity that surrounded him in Europe at that time. His rejection became an escape, a contradiction. He was a rebel who wanted to battle despair with the search for the extreme. In November of 1880, Rimbaud left Aden and crossed the Red Sea to Zeila, traveled the road through the Somali desert for 20 days, and entered Harar in order to take over the trade office of Aden. He arrived with the hope of striking it rich in a very short time. He lived in this house that is today a bar located in the heart of the city. I have come to know the skies splitting with lightning and the water spouts and the breakers and current. I know the evening and dawn rising up like a flock of doves. And sometimes I have seen what men have imagined they saw. I have seen the low-hanging sun speckled with mystic horrors, lighting up long violet coagulations like the performers in very antique dramas, waves rolling back into the distances, their shiverings of Venetian blinds. I have dreamed of the green night, of the dazzled snows, the kiss rising slowly to the eyes of the seas, the circulation of undreamed-of saps, and the yellow-blue awakenings of singing phosphorus.